People will often ask the question, why are there so few who believe the mystery? It's often asked in the sense of, well, if right division was really true, then more people would believe it. Is that a sensible argument? Is truth determined by majority vote? No. If no one believes the mystery, it's still true, right? How many people believe Noah's preaching? How long did Noah preach for? 120 years. Second Peter says he's a preacher of righteousness. So he's a preacher of righteousness for 120 years. He keeps telling people the flood is coming. And what do they say? You, you realize every additional day the flood didn't come. The scoffers got more obnoxious. Oh, Noah, we're now at 119 years and 362 days. <laughs> How's that coming? And they mock and mock and mock. And, and man's wickedness, man's agreement that the scripture is not true has absolutely zero bearing on whether or not it's true. You understand that, of course, right? Well, let me suggest this to you. The reason why so few believe the mystery is what the mystery is about is it's Jesus Christ spoiling principalities and powers. He made a show of them what? Openly. So I have a question for you. you, you maybe this will resonate, maybe it won't. If your favorite team wins a game, are you okay watching a replay of that game? Yeah, that doesn't bother you. What happens if your favorite team loses the game? How often do you want to rewatch that? Right? It's just, why would I want to do that? Well, what did Jesus Christ do at the cross that was subsequently revealed? He made a show of them openly. So if he made a show of them openly, the principalities and powers of this world, and if Satan is the god of this world, 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, and if he's the prince of the power of the air, what do you think he uses the, the communication vehicles, the media of this world to do? Does he use it to tell people about the mystery, or does he use it to suppress the mystery? See, the mystery is his defeat. It's his shame. God took the wise in their own what? Craftiness. Had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. So how does Satan feel about the mystery? He hates it. It's his shame. It's his embarrassment. It's his defeat. And it's his defeat that he took an active role in. Because what does he do? He enters into Judas. We're going to put Jesus Christ to death. This is going to be a moment of triumph for me. Have at it. Let's see. The modern version of that would be play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Right? He thinks the cross is a victory. It doesn't turn out to be that way. Get with me Ephesians 3, verse 10. Ephesians 3, 10. To the intent... Let's read verse 9. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery. The fellowship of the mystery pertains to Jew and Gentile in one body. It pertains to the body of Christ. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world hath been hitting God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. So the fellowship of the mystery was something God always purposed, but he hid it. Now notice verse 10. To the intent that now, under the principalities and powers in heavenly places, that includes Satan's, Satan's principalities and powers, might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God. 